Hey guys, welcome back to another Flesh and Blood video. Um, so today we're playing Dash versus Briar, um, and this is Aggro Dash. I feel like Control Dash just honestly doesn't really stand a chance against Briar. Like there's just there's just too many good cards that Briar has to like be able to loop CMHs and things like that. So I feel like you have to play Aggro into Briar. Now. The games are super close. Um, one of them is really a non-game, if you want my opinion. The very first game that we played, Alexander made a joke and said, I'm going to play this like other Briar players and just not block. I don't know how accurate that is, but it didn't work out very well for him. Um, he let a combustible courier hit on like the first turn, and like I just ran him over from there. So it's kind of a non-game, but uh, the games are really close and really fun. Um, I really enjoy the games, and I think the matchup is super close. So, anyway, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Just typing in the chat like I don't know you. Yep. Yeah, and we're making it like uh, you, it's just a random person. Okay, so... Alright, let's do this. You know what? What? This deck I get to, I get to damage stack through Arcane Rear Outs. Oh my god. Ah, actually. Oh, actually. Hmm. Oh, my word. Cracked. All right. I'm going to play it like Matthew Fox, too. Don't worry. No idea what that means, but okay. I'm gonna not block almost ever. <laughs> <laughs> I have seen this man, I've seen that man take on hits from so many decks and so many different formats, just believing that his hand is gonna do the rest of the work. Uh. I was like, well, we're about to find out if you mean that. Honestly? I, I actually kind of want to see the potential of this on an average draw, so we're gonna we're gonna go for it. All right. I'm gonna hit the space bar a whole bunch of times. I mean, a thirteen—that's nothing. <laughs> oh God. Boom. Fear me. How would you play red minimalism? Yeah. have that, that, and that next turn. It does have go again, right? You have the lightning token. Correct. Yep. Yep, I'll just block six. Yellow snatch. Something I thought I would honestly never see. <laughs> nope, take the arcane. Yeah, take three. Ooh, not bad. Take that as well, and then I'll go to 25. Or, I guess I'll go to 27, miscounted somewhere. Uh, awesome. Load this. Come in for seven. I care about the numbers you swing at me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've gone crazy. <laughs> it's like I don't even know you it. anymore. Ken? Yeah, sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, get that trash out of here. <laughs> that thing costs one. I think it should cause a zero. Yeah. I mean, probably. I mean, I'm probably just trying to have it all. Oh, I misplayed. Whoops. Okay. If that 
I need to just open with this. I need a creepers in the non-attack so I don't have to like do a bunch of bull crap. Okay, that was like. Whoops. I, I love I love Arcanic Crackle. God, it's like one of my favorite cards in the game. And I don't know That's why, because awesome. it's a zero for three deal, one arcane. Like it is nothing to write yeah. home about. <laughs> Yep. I go to 19. And you arsenal that. Alright, so... I need you to just not have a high octane. Well, I don't have a high octane, but my hand is very efficient. <laughs> very efficient. <laughs> It is extremely powerful, if I'm if I'm being honest. Like, let's see. Yeah, this is this is almost a twenty point turn. Do you have a, okay. I feel like I don't even know you anymore. I hope every Briar I play against plays I like this. I saw six non attacks in a row, so I think I lose. Mm, I mean that's fair. Um. I'm gonna try. Make it through. No, I need this. Um, don't need that. Oh my word! I told you my hand was really good. You not? Wow. I got a YOLO and hit a really good card. I mean... Oh my word. Did you mean to pass? Oh, whoops. I was like, why is it my turn? <laughs> it's like, not that I'm complaining, but... There. Play this. Okay, now I get it. Yeah, I, I saw... I dug two cards deeper and they were all non-attacks again. Seriously? Seriously. That's unfortunate. Yeah. So, uh, if you pass, I win. <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest. I, I didn't think I was going to get to keep... Ha because you drew a card. You Both oh. of it, this round's on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. No, but seeing seven straight cards that were non-attacks is uh, not good. So pitch this for this, pitch this to do this and this, so I get to do this, 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 and this twice. What about this? Shut up, man. <laughs> yeah, coming in for exactly lethal. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna block. Oh, man. Yeah, coming in for exactly lethal. Is it all of my attacks get minus one? Yes, all. Even pistol. So good. Yeah. I mean, I don't think it matters. I think but... it, it's usually a wash for you. Probably. If you, especially if you pistol twice. Like, I was like, I'm going to pistol twice and just get you that way. I'll like, be even, negative one. It's like, even if you have a defense reaction or something. I don't. That, this list definitely does not run this. Okay, I didn't know. All right, so game one was exactly what I talked about. Um, I mean, it was 19-0. to zero. Like, that—that that is not how a game of Dash Briar should ever go. Um, now, that being said, I hope I play that matchup and it ends up playing out like that at, uh, at Nats, but I don't think it will. Um, Alexander didn't really block and just kind of let me do whatever I wanted, and we saw the value of that. Um, as long as you're blocking Dash is big on hit effects, which really just, you know, like combustible curve is really the only big one, then you're in a pretty good spot. So that was really why we saw game one was so lopsided there. So now how do we rematch? Um, so there's a little button at the top. Hang on, I gotta write down some of these numbers since I got my notebook next to me. Because I'm gonna, I wanna keep track of all these games so that we can okay. talk about this later. Maybe we should not count that one and then just let me play how I play next. I was like, how you usually <laughs> play? 
Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I am going to count that game because it is important to know that some Briar players don't block. I have played against Briar many times where, they, where they've not blocked. I don't, I don't know if that's fair. The whole idea of Briar is to block. <laughs> um, Her whole hero ability is like, if you block, it's better than most heroes in certain spots. I hit quick rematch. Oh, so quick rematch means you just don't change sideboards and stuff. Yeah. And I get to go first now. I was like, and I assume it's going to swap this time. Yeah. Um, trying to think about what I want to do here. Alexander. I think I play this on the off chance that I get a thing. I did not get a thing. So uh, I'm going to play this. Wait, 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 wait. No, we're going to this, 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 and then play this. So I did get two chip damage and an embodiment. Oh wait, you have arcane barrier. I always forget when they when you shorten the art on the equipment. I forget that you have AP. Yeah, it's tougher to like always know what's going on. I definitely should not have done any well, of that. Well, do you want to undo? I would just undo the the actual attack. I'll keep the Here, enchant. Let's just let's just do this. There you go. Yeah. So it's we'll just, just start this, over. This this. Pass. This. I guess this. Cool. It's just to load this. Oh, we're gonna play this for four. Get this, and then arsenal oh, this. Interesting. Do arsenal Gorgtone? Yes. That's neat. Because it was the only it was the only card that I didn't block with. Hmm. Interesting. This is broken. Okay. Hmm, that's pretty good. Interesting. All right, go ahead. Oh, yeah, I have no reactions. Yeah. Wonder it's gonna count my two action points, right? Surely. Yeah, you have to let the attack resolve, but it will. And now you see where it says you have two AP. Ah. Under the pass thing. Yeah. It's gonna be. Block there, block there, do that. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Starting with double Teclo Pounder is just so good. Um, yeah, I mean, I was going to do that anyway. Okay. No, and then I'll just take six. Yep. Alright. Um, yeah, I'll boost. So I can pitch four into that, do that. Yeah, you got it.
Okay, that seems fine. I guess. No, I mean... I love how it doesn't let you even pay an odd number into Sonata. Yeah. Like, why would you ever do that? Well, I mean, you can't. XX is part of the casting value, like you're not legally allowed to. Yeah. Two arcane damage. Um... Yeah, I'll take two. What'd you hit? Earth or Surge, Promise of Plenty, Bramble Spark, Belittle, and Revealed. Promise of Plenty and Belittle. What was Promise of Plenty? I gotta read that one. Zero, attacks for three. Promise of Plenty hits each hero who doesn't have a card. Uh, well, they get to say that, but... Um, I'll take two. <clears throat> you got a red minimalism? Yeah. Put the top card of the deck face down in an arsenal. So, this is going in because of the lightning surge, right? Oh, uh, yeah, the lightning token. Um. You want us to both draw a card? I don't think so. I don't think so. The way my hand's set up, oh, I wait, think undo, I really Sorry. I forgot. <laughs> okay. I have another one of these. <laughs> so I just need to. Oh, make a it red minimalism? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I swear, like, this online client is making me really bad at judging the board state because it looks so different. Like, even just my own hand. I'm a lot slower at figuring out what's actually on the board. Block with the equipment. Okay. It is different. Um, it takes a second to get used to a lot of the <clears throat> the way the game is set up. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll go to 24 here. Interesting. We'll start with T-Bone. I assume I'll get grasp here. Come in for four. We'll attack for two. Trigger mask. <laughs> Man, imagine if Dash had a mask. Good lord. Uh, let's not. Good lord. would be awesome. Like, that would actually just be insane. Oh, uh, you played Bram double Bramble Spark? What'd you fuse with? Autumn's Touch? No, I'll take the Arcane. Oh, okay, take all three Arcane. And then... Yeah, we'll just take six here. Go to 15. Activate Grasp, and then two, two, and one. Yeah, I'll go to 10. That seems fine. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd rather not be a 10, but <laughs> of my options. Yep. Um, so we'll do that. We'll crack Goliath Gauntlet. Come in for seven, go again. Payload for eight. Yep. Seems like a good a time as any.
interesting. Starts with an even bigger than that. Well, I just need you to let me know that if you keep your hand, you let me keep my five cards, you're dead. <laughs> I, I imagine I'm not, but. <laughs> uh... Blue Minoism is revealed. Yep, I'll go to eight. I'm going to force you to take my cards. <laughs> oh gosh, this is complicated. Good. Two, three, four. You'd have figured it out two minutes ago if we were playing in paper. Oh, that's how I should play it. I'll take your word for it. Is, are all the modes active on this? No, just the first two. Have you played a non-attack action this turn? I have. Which Wait. means... No, I have not. I have not. Wait, didn't you play even bigger than that to start the turn? But yeah, I played this rounds. Or yeah, this rounds on me. Um, Always. So this is... Did I play... Wait, did I just open with Belittle? No, you played it this rounds on me. Yeah, I did. You may your non attack action card is out or an instant. So you, will you get an embodiment of lightning if this uh, if, if you activate creepers? If you if yes, you activate make, creepers. Yes, I will make a second I'll do a thing. That's good to know. Because the way it's worded makes me think that it's an instant, but I guess it still re it still reads it. The game re reads it as a non-attack action, but you're only playing it at instant speed because of Creeper's ability. Yeah. Okay. Should update the record. So, my question is, why did you block that? Because if you activate creepers and play something, um, then I can't negate arcane damage the rest of the turn. And yeah, that might be relevant. The... So, did you do the math on it? No, I haven't yet, but it might be relevant. It might be? Yeah, I mean, like, you could be playing okay. Rebel. Like, some people so... play Rebel. Okay. Sure. Like, make a rune chant into Rebel is 6, plus Thorn is 7. Or is five into se which is I've seven. Already made a this turn. I have thorn on board, so that's three, right? So I mean, I guess you're doing six. Or two, so two, two. Um, two arcane on board. That's just to reset a thorn because grasp already happened. All three crackles have been seen in this game because I pitched one. But rebel puts me to one, so I mean, I don't right. know. Like I, like I, I, although I know you're not playing rebel because you said you weren't, I'm not gonna play that way. And I would rather be able to pitch one of the, like, a blue in my hand to stop it if I need to. So, I'll be honest. You won the game, I think, because you blocked there, but not for the reason you think you did. Okay. Why was, was it correct plan? to block there? Uh, because I have Force of Nature, and I was going to Creeper's Force of Nature to trade in a card. You make a Lightning Token, and if I hit a blue off the top, it was going to be Command and Conquer into Rosetta Thorn, which just ends the game on the spot. I mean, that is very good. now i don't even force you to block so i'm trying to think about i think it's make lightning token is that a thorn yeah i think i just go to three here knowing my hand
four, go again. So it's get that, do that, that, that. I mean, I think that has to be worth it. See, this is pretty good for me either way. I was like, because you either give Graspin a card or you do that, and I'm okay with that too. Four. You can pistol twice, right? Yeah, I can pistol twice. I think I misplayed really hard by blocking with Tunic. I took one and left Tunic on the board. I think this game is just mine. Was Tunic going to be out next turn? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so let's now see. It's up to, now it's up to like a coin flip whether I win or not. And I'm definitely coming in, but you... Okay. So... I don't think it's so, worth so putting I you to one. Up. Huh? I'm trying to think here. Like, I don't know if it's worth putting you to one, because I think I'd rather have AB. Well, here. Technically, I would just not block until the second one. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you like, if you do yeah, this, I just did that just to get out of the way. I think I have to now. Yeah. Three cards, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I just have to get another card out of your hand. All right, I hit, so I think I can still win. So tomorrow, promise, promise. Yeah, you have no AB, so I've guaranteed lethal. Yeah, like that's the problem. Is that like, yeah. like that was that was what I was worried about is playing around AB, but I don't think I'm in a better situation either way. So earlier on in the turn, I could have blocked the T bone with a card, right? Yeah, you could have given grasp. Up. Well, you didn't. I could have been in the exact. You so blocked I tunic on the exact... first thing I did. You're right. So I could have taken one there. Go to two. Blocked a card. Yeah, go to two. Blocked a card on the T bone. Okay. Yep. Blocked two cards on the zipper hit. I'm down to two cards. And then, or rather, I can block one equipment. Uh, I can block grass card on the first four. Okay. Okay. Then on T bone, I block with a card. And on zipper hit. I block with Crown of Providence in a card. Okay. So now two cards are gone out of my hand. I have three left in my hand. Uh, you And you just have Pistol twice left. So I block with one card, go to one, and I have Tunic up. Reapers is still gone, but I have Tunic up and uh, two cards in hand, and I had guaranteed lethal whether the Sonata hit or, or not. What was your guaranteed lethal whether it hit or not? Because then I can still Rosetta Thorn. Or, like, guarantee the win because... Uh, I'm pretty sure if I leave you with one card, uh, oh, you're saying you're not actually killing me. You're just leaving me with one card. It was either one card or zero card. The math is 
Yeah, one card. Gotcha. So game two uh, was a much closer game, um, and I enjoyed the game. I ended up losing, but it was a really good one. Um, I ended up not having AB there um, at the end of the game, uh, and it really just so, – and that's what I died to. Now, that is like – Having Achilles Accelerator to allow you to come in with an extra attack after a dominate or coming in with an extra pistol shot is most of the time how I use it. Um, but honestly, like, not having AB killed me at the end of the game there. So it's a weird balancing act against Briar that you have to play because Rosetta Thorn will kill you out of nowhere. Um, you really have to use Accelerator in a spot when you know you're going to strip all their cards to where they can't kill you with, uh, with AB. Um, because even if they... Even if your Briar opponent just keeps one card, like if you're at one life and they keep one card, they can pitch a blue, make a rune chant, and then come in with Thorn and kill you. But if you're at two, they can't do that. They have to have multiple cards to be able to um, actually, you know, turn on Rosetta Thorn's ability. Now, with that in mind, most of the time they have to have three cards to be able to make that happen. Um, now, Sonata Arcanics does give them a little bit of a play around for that and kind of lets them cheat a little bit, so that is something to think about. But, yeah, the second game is a lot closer. It was a really good game. Yeah. So you'd pistol me twice, and then I get another three-card hand into you. Um, and a three-card hand is way more dangerous than a two-card hand. So my average value per turn was 16.4. Uh, 16 Mine was 13.33. Um, and then I'll just hit quick rematch here. Oh. Agro. Dryer. And then I guess you get to go first. Huh. Yep. I wonder why. I think it's just, it's die rolling. <clears throat> Let's see here. Mm. I think I... Oh, what the heck? Did we just revert to the end of last game? Well, good job. I win! Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Quick rematch. Oh crap, I liked my hand. Yeah, I liked my hand too. Okay. Um Good job, you messed it up for everybody. <laughs> oh, this is sick. Hmm, not bad. Busted. Um, yep, we'll boost. Huh. Put the pressure on as fast as we can. You mean like zero to sixty? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yep, come in for four. <clears throat> pistol. Yep, and then pistol you. Instance arsenal this and pass. Uh, yep, we'll take the arcane. Let's go ahead and take three. Which minnowism did you get red? Oh, your blue one's in the graveyard, so you're getting red the rest of the game. Did you play off Spellbound Creepers? I'm 
going to assume a smashing good time. Yeah. Hmm. That's neat. <laughs> Blow out. That is pretty cool. <laughs> No blocks. Go to thirty-two. Cool. All right. And yep, twenty-one, and we'll pass. And this Briar deck's really fun. Yep, I figured. Aw, oh, whiff. Alright, that wasn't really the point. I was like, I assume oh, you just want to go wait. again. I, I'm an idiot. I'll have to back you... up to the beginning of the turn. I pitched the wrong card. Here. Uh, this turn. Uh, and then I'll block here. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. No, it's okay. Pitch. I don't want to arsenal Toma Harvest if you get me. <laughs> mm, that's fair. <laughs> Seeing as how I would have to crown a providence that immediately. I was like, seems uh, seems bad. Yellow snatch swarming. I'm gonna prevent that and take two. Can I arcane myself in this at all? I don't know. Is there, I don't think there's a way that it'll let me do that. Even though that is it, literally what it's I would just do. literally not even targeting you. Um, like, it's not even, like, targeting me. Like, it just automatically hits me. Now, to be fair, I like, I feel like in 95% of games, it's not going to matter. But it would be relevant now. Honestly, with this deck, I would probably do it, like, a third of my games. I don't think majority of the population would, but I think you would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... Think about it. He's just an. I'll take two damage for an extra action point next turn. Yeah. No, I know. I uh, straight up can't do it. Sad. Um. I'll take. I'll give you a ten point life lead for that. Okay. Um. Yeah. Pull boost. <clears throat> okay. You did not put a card on the bottom? Correct. Hmm, interesting. Um, we'll activate heart. Load the pistol. I'm in for five. You say okay, and then I'll pistol you. Um, 
yeah, I'll take three here. Was your hand, like, busted? This is just a pretty cool draw. You... Red Minnowism is revealed. All right. Interesting. Yeah, I'll take two. I'm so used to having to, like, play around Mask when we play. It's, like, in my head that if I don't play around Mask, like, something's wrong. <laughs> Here, here's your Mask trigger. <laughs> yeah, no, honestly, except this one doesn't have Go Again, and you already have a card in hand, so... It does have Go Again? Why? Lightning Token. Oh. Yeah, this is, uh... This is just a casual snatch for nine. Yeah, I still think I'm forced to take it here. I'll take six more damage. Um... Block three here. Yep. Block the skull camp. This deck's pretty awesome. Um, uh, come in for seven with throttle. Yeah, the Briar deck seems cool. It seems right up your alley, too. Yeah. I mean, I love playing with creepers, so it's like... All these lines, I'm like... Five, go again. I think I'd take it here. I will take your word for it. Give me Tunic and Grasp, okay. I was like, that's interesting. Mm. Not that I think it really matters. It's either a life now or a life later. Oh, I assume you that. didn't mean to pass to me there. You should probably click yep, I undo. <laughs> play, pitch. There we go. I was, I'm just used to it being like, do you want to play an instant? And yeah. I really didn't do that. Oh, that card doesn't work there. You're going to have to start over to the turn. Hang on. Yeah. A minute, Go minute ahead. Some straight up. All right. <clears throat> what? What's what happening? is happening? I, I don't know. Revert to prior turn. Over yeah, this. like if you click the menu in the top right, little like hamburger bar, and then like click yeah. like two prior turn or this turn or whatever it says. There we go. There you go. All right. Play pitch. Okay. This all seems similar. Play. Reveal. Reveal burgeoning. All right. Play. Okay. In other words, I'm not playing the minimalism that does nothing here. <laughs> um. So I'm taking the arcane, and then so 
So the question is, do I pitch that? Do I block with those two cards and keep high octane and hope it works out? I mean, with you being a one, you get a two. You get a tunic block on pistol off high octane. So let's see. If I block there, that's four. That's three. That's one. So you block there. You probably throw one of those and then keep two of those. Or I can... Man, there's not really a good option here. Block seven. And then I assume coming in for two, two, and one here. Yep. And then I'm going to go to three. What an interesting hand. All right. Yep. Boosting, coming in for three. Activate heart, load the pistol. Four, go again. Yeah, I needed to keep two cards here. Well, you can. Pistols only oh, for one. Oh, you can't pay for the thing. No, yeah. I was like, you get to keep. Uh, yeah, I was like, I mean, I'm probably dead because of that. Like, it's like if I had to guess, I'm dead. If not, like the game's probably pretty close to over. Can't do that. And then I get to do that, and then... And then I leave you with three cards, and you probably just kill me with Arcane. Why do, I, why do you not strip two cards here? I leave you with three cards, because you have two cards in your hand and one in your arsenal. Like, oh. Yeah, sadly, I don't have a great combination here. I mean, I was like, if you can't thorn me, then I'm probably not dead. But there's a pretty high chance you can thorn me here. I have multiple ways to attack you for six. Well, I depends on what my hand looks like, but that's probably not going to be good enough. Plus, I've learned that normally if you stare for enough time, you'll find what you're looking for. That does that, and then I get to keep one other card, so what is the next best card there? Okay. I think you got me. 
I don't know. We'll see. Well, depends, depends so on, with your my hand two like. cards, you have to strip four cards. Sort of. It's not exact, but. Does that have go again? No. I'm pretty sure I get your whole hand right here. you block five <clears throat> I pistol you I gain an action point and then I pistol you again yeah my last hand was just too bad That's interesting. You got me, surely, right? Aha, uh -huh, I drew quad blues. So, blocking out is probably just going to be good enough for you here. But I need to keep a card to win. I mean, I'm probably going to win the game, but I'm saying it won't be this turn. Yeah. Um, I'm, tr I'm just trying to map out the best way to do this here. I think it's to pitch that by doing that, that, and that. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. And then pistol you. Okay. I drew a payload. Dominate. Yep. Oh Lord, that was a really close game. Yep. Uh, I gotta take the dog out for a few minutes. No, that's good. Well, I'll take a break and use the bathroom. Probably grab his bite. How uh, how long? Uh, fifteen minutes. All right, sounds good. Uh, I did win that game, and my value was eleven point four. Okay, so game three, I end up coming out on top on, but it was a really, it was a really close, really weird game. Um, we get to this point in the game where we're both at one, and we're both kind of having these two card awkward hand turns. Um, but Alexander's turn was weird enough to where I was able to keep a red zipper hit um, and pistol to be able to strip most of his hand um, and leave me in a pretty decent position. Um, and then I just peeled the payload off the top. That like payload that late in the game is pretty much always going to win the game. Um, and yeah, so like. Not many games are played like that, it's worth noting. I think a lot of times when it's one-to-one, -one, it normally ends within a turn or two. Like, normally two turns max, but normally the next turn. So, I don't know. That was a really interesting game that I went back and watched kind of a couple of times. So, I really liked it, though. I like it. I'm trying to think what felt lackluster in my hands. Like a one of I could cut. You wanted me to go second? Uh, no, I want to go second. Because um, I went second once and first twice. Okay. <clears throat> A 
well. Yep. Command for seven. I think running Iron Weave is correct. Yeah, it totally like, is. Like, I know you I weren't was earlier. Because, like, yeah, uh, I was like, we talked about yeah. what a random just, person might do. Yeah, if they're thinking that you might be in control, then you definitely run Tunic, so. In the turn, we'll put that there, and then I'll arsenal that. Mm. <clears throat> Um, we'll take the rune chance and then we'll block eight here. I'd like to point out, I have not played a CMH yet. No, I know. Uh, <clears throat> so it's interesting that I... I mean, all the games have been really close. Yeah. It's like both games were one-to-one. -one. Um, I think the way this works... Since I have other equipment, I probably toss this early. Yeah, most people block with Iron Move early. Yeah. Just because it, it, it's one of those things that can be used really early or really late, and you don't really know which. Well, I was like, and your hand may pop up to where you need to use it next turn. Yep. Did you play Tome? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, you're going to activate Creepers here, so... You don't think I'm going to pass the four cards in hand? I mean, you know what? I'm okay with staying at 37 if you do decide that's the <laughs> line you want to take, so... <laughs> uh... better to do that and then yeah interesting uh, we'll pitch that and then come in for eight to go to 11. I have no idea. <clears throat> Blocking with force of nature. Intertesting. play Tome. Autumn's Touch, yeah. Gloomvale, Minnowism. I imagine we're taking Gloomvale. Unless it's not, blue. no, I pitched Autumn's Touch. I got Gloomvale and Minnowism. Oh, that's right. This isn't our Sonata. This is Tome. Yeah. Oh. 
Well, you're definitely going to be activating that. So I think we'll just take three here. <clears throat> yep, definitely going to be doing that. Okay. Nothing I can do about that. Seven. Okay. Go to twenty three here. Oh. Huh? Went to Arsenal. Oh, well. Hit undo. Uh. Oh. Um. Last turn? Yeah, last turn. Just play through it quick. Yeah, it like, won't take just a minute. <clears throat> play. Pass. Yeah, I take that. Take that, go to 28. Creepers. Play. Pull this up. Play. <clears throat> yep, and this is where I block six. Yep. And then your arsenaling. You hit what? So you were arsenaling. You played a minimalism here, didn't you? No, I, I did not. The buff was from the smashing good time. So you arsenaled that. Okay. Yeah, so I'm arsenaling the minimalism. And then, what does smashing good time say? The next time an attack action arrow hits a card. Oh, so it's not just that card. It's any time. You're right. But the creepers basically means I get to guarantee it. Right, exactly. Um, yep, we'll boost. Come in for six. And come in for two. And then we'll pass to you. Minnowism Bramble. And you did not reveal? Correct. My hands have been so bad. <laughs> I just played three high octanes. What? Yeah. That was how weird my hand was. What? Did you have all three of them? In a I had game? I had two, and then I drew. My hand okay. my hand was red throttle, double high octane, blue like combustible carrier. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, when I drew the third one, I was like, whatever, this is for the memes. I don't even care if I lose because of this. <laughs> oh, my word. Um, That's amazing. If you have two blues, this is busted. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then I want to bottom. Oh, that comes later. Uh this well 
Well. <coughs> and two more. Word, I got away. <laughs> yeah, I mean the downfall of three high octanes is that like if you don't have like a, like two blues to follow it up with, it's just so awkward. Yeah. I assume you didn't mean to pass to me. What? <laughs> just hit undo. Shouldn't. I was like, oh. There we go. Um. Oh, we're still at this point where I have to attack with this. Easy. Okay. So, oh wow, this turn is a whole lot to nav navigate. Means it's a lot of damage. I hope so. I think I just have to rip this. No, okay. This is how it goes. Did pitch into it. Belittle, Command and Conquer, Snatch, Snatch. Wow. Oh my word. What? Uh, oh, we're clipping that one. We're clipping that one. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened to you. Well, we'll chalk this one up to variance. <laughs> oh, do you have CMH to go with it? Crazy Parcher's turn is still really good. A three card hand, you mean? <laughs> you mean my turn where I just lost two cards for no reason? I mean, like, but that's what I'm saying. Your turn was still solid. Yeah. Um. I don't really like five cards to deal 11 damage. That's just me, though. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I would agree. Ongoing rate, that's not good. <laughs> Hey, I do 2.2 .2 damage per card. Oh, man. It's weird yeah. that my hand was somehow better to block six there. I mean, it's not weird, like, and it's actually just good to play that way. Um. Oh, good lord. <clears throat> did not help. I cannot believe you hit four attack actions. Not only did I not have to deal with Arcane, you didn't get to do anything. Come in for eight. Yeah. I drew four blue earth cards. I feel like the percentages of that are very low. Quite. Like, like single digit low. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I have two blocked there, so I'm at four. You're representing ten, so I need to block seven. Yeah, it's literally the whole hand. <clears throat> by creepers and grasp. Yep. Yeah. Seems good. Did you just take it because yeah. I just conceded. Okay, I was like I assume you just let that happen there. Um Let's see. Uh I ended the game at five. But that was just another game where like I drew CMH way too late. That's the first time you've seen CMH like in a four games. Okay, so there was another extremely close match that I ended up coming out on top of. Now, I know the scoreboard says I'm at five, but it felt a lot different than that if you want the truth. Um, there at the end of the match, like after the little like post-note thing there, like you hear me talking um, to Alexander, and, and you know he said that was the first time he'd seen CMH in like three or four games or something like that. Um, that was big. Him not seeing a lot of CMH gives me... It's honestly why I went three and one in our four games. 
That and the fact that even when he did see CMH, he saw it super late and was not a very powerful turn. Um, so another note, I feel like after watching it, I made a misplay. Um, the turn where I arsenal, where I played like the three high octanes, and then I ended up arsenaling the red throttle. Um, what I did was came in with zero to sixty, pitched the zipper hit, and then pistoled three times. So it's worth noting that that is um, that's five or that's three, five, seven, nine points. What I should have done was pitch zero to sixty, or I should have cracked cracked the life gauntlet to throttle, come in for eight boost. I now have three action points. I can pitch the yellow zipper hit, gank, go up to three resources, and then pistol three times. So my turn goes from a nine-point turn to a 14-point turn. Like, it changes so much. It changes so much on the whole face of that game. And it's really, really worth noting there that that was a misplay on my part and cost me a lot. It's little things like that that you don't notice in the moment or actually why you end up losing so many games. So I'm really glad that I was able to go back and watch that and catch that. It was it was good to note. Um, and, you know, that when I have multiple high octanes in a turn, I should really be taking more time to think about what the best line is and how I should be mapping that out to play it. So, um, but guys, this was Dash versus Briar. I really enjoy the matchup. I do think that Briar is a little favored, honestly. Um, I think it might be Briar 55-45. I think there is a lot of stuff that can happen for Dash to get ahead, um, but I do overall think Briar is a little favored with multiple CMHs and things like that. So, uh, but thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy it, guys. If there's any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below, and if not, I'll see you next time. Thanks.